Hello, this is a video guide of how to correctly configure and use diagnostics in the L60IF gravimetric air sampler. First, we will go through how to configure the L60IF. The menus for the L60IF can be navigated by using the four arrow buttons on the front panel. To access the configuration menu, please press and hold the up and down buttons at the same time whilst turning on the air sampler. Keep pressing the button until the menu screen is clearly visible. The menu will then show menu or display results. Press up and down to access the config menu or press right to access recent results of test samples. Pressing down will take you to the low flow configuration. Low flow is the lowest flow allowed before an alarm is triggered and the sample stopped. Press right to access the settings. Pressing up or down will allow you to increase or decrease your low flow set point. When happy with your flow, press right again to save your net new flow rate. Press down will take you to the high flow settings. This is the maximum flow which can be recorded before an alarm will sound. As before, pressing right will allow you to change the flow rates and you can increase or decrease the flow set point by pressing up or down arrows respectively. Save by pressing the right arrow key. You can choose whether you want the alarm to be silent or, act or activate a buzzer when alarm criteria has been breached. Press right to change the settings up and down to turn the alarm on or off. Pressing right again will save the new configuration. Flow rate can be displayed as meters cubed per minute or liters a minute, or you can configure it as auto. Change the volume display to your preference by pressing the right and using up and down arrows to cycle through the units. Once you're happy with your configuration, press right to save. If there is a power cut during sampling, the L60IF can be set up to either resume the sampling as before the power cut, or stop the sample altogether and issue a fault alarm. Pressing right will allow you to will ask you to enter the maximum number of restarts allowed before a fault will be registered. Press up or down to decide the maximum number of restarts, and press right to access the maximum duration before the fault. The first section will allow you to adjust hours of operation. Press right to move those to the minutes. Once you're happy with that, you can press right again to save the settings. You may need to adjust the time and date of the L6IF. Adjust the time by pressing right and adjusting the hours which are set in 24 hour mode. Press right again to adjust the minutes and alter the, alter, to alter the minutes by pressing up or down key. Once you're happy, press right to save the settings. Date can also be saved in a similar way. First, press the day, then the month, and finally the year. And they can all be adjusted by pressing up and down on the keys. Once again, pressing right will save, um, will save the new settings. Once the generic settings have been configured, you can then move to the test setup. Press right will bring you to the different options available. Pressing right will bring you the different options available. The up and down keys will allow you to allow you to access a type of test selected. You have the following options: open-ended test, time test, volume test, delayed time test, delayed volume test. If you choose the open-ended test, pressing the right arrow will just save this as the default mode. If you choose any other test, for example, time test. Pressing the right arrow will allow you to access more advanced settings. In this example, we will configure a time test. The maximum duration of the test can be specified by pressing up and down and choosing the minutes. Once you press save, it will take you back outside of the test configuration. If you're happy with your configuration, turn off the air sampler and the new settings will be saved. If you want to con Perform a test, turn the air sampler back on without touching any, air, any buttons and you will access the test menu. 
On this, on this display, press right to run the test mode that was just set up in the configuration menu. For this example test, we have selected liters as our unit, which was set as auto in the configuration menu. The LCD shows the elapsed time, the current flow rate and the overall volume sampled. Stop the test at any time by pressing one of the arrows or by turning off the air sampler. The diagnostics menu of the L60IF can be accessed by pressing and holding the left and up arrow buttons whilst turning on the sampler. Continue to hold until the menu appears. You can see a range of important operating information if you press the down arrow repeatedly. These include total time powered, pump run time, last calibration date, all of which are good for air quality control inspection processes which you may have at your workplace. Breakpoint is a diagnostics tool that we use to calibrate the pump assembly. I would advise only allowing Munro trained staff to work on breakpoints unless you have a UCAS accredited flow calibration rig or have been trained on pump assembly at, the U at Munro Instruments. If internal calibration is something that interests you, please contact us using the contact info at the end of the video. Pressing down allows you to view pump diagnostics. The pressing the right arrow key will allow you to cycle through the different diagnostics. Um, pump diagnostics can be inspected by pressing the right arrow and cycling through until you reach cold pump temperature. All of this information is useful for your internal process and calibration checks. Turning off the diagnostics and then turning back on the air sampler will allow you to perform a normal test again. We hope this information was useful and any questions please give us an email or call us using the details provided. Thank you. Bye.